Hello friends and welcome to Kids Bedtime Bookshelf. Today we are going to be reading Philip Loves Christmas. Get comfy, grab your favorite stuffed animal, and let's explore the wonders that await us. Let's get started. Once upon a snowy December in a cozy little house, there lived a lovable French bulldog named Philip. Philip, with his pointy ears and a squishy nose, couldn't wait for Christmas. One of his favorite times of the year. As soon as the first snowflakes danced from the sky, Philip's excitement bubbled over. Every year he had a tradition of dressing up for Christmas. One of his outfits included big red reindeer antlers and a bright red bow. Feeling like one of Santa's reindeer, Philip loved running out into his snow-covered backyard and prancing about like he was pulling Santa's sleigh. The crisp snow under his paws made him do joyful spins, leaving little paw prints like tiny Christmas ornaments. Back inside, Philip was captivated by the magical transformation happening in his home. The family strung lights, hung ornaments, and decorated a beautiful tree. They also had a lovely Christmas village display on the buffet in the dining room. Philip, with his curious nature, couldn't resist one of the plush-looking penguins. One day, he snatched it from the display, happily chewing into it and sending fluff all over the dining room floor. Once his family discovered the penguin mayhem, they were at first furious, but then seeing Philip covered in penguin stuffing made everyone burst into laughter. Philip was also fascinated by the dazzling outdoor lights that decorated the neighborhood. Every night he would sit by the window, eyes wide with wonder, watching the colorful lights. One evening, he decided to spread some Christmas cheer of his own. With a wag of his tail, he pranced outside, sporting his other favorite pair of reindeer ears that had a string of little lights hanging from the antlers. The neighbors couldn't help but smile at the festive pup, which made everyone giggle. The festive atmosphere would not be complete without an array of delicious treats, and Philip was no stranger to the festive feast. His nose would twitch as the aroma of freshly baked cookies filled the air. Sneakily, he managed to snatch a cookie or two that fell off the kitchen counter. But in his haste of gobbling down the treats, Philip left behind a trail of crumbs that led straight to his guilty-looking face. The family couldn't stay mad for long, especially when Philip sat so dejectedly in his dog bed. One snowy evening, a lively group of carolers appeared at Philip's doorstep, spreading holiday cheer with their joyful tunes. Excited, Philip barged through the door, eager to join. His attempts to mimic the carolers' harmonies resulted in a comical symphony of howling. The carolers, surprised but amused, continued to sing, turning their festive serenade into an impromptu canine carol collaboration. The family, Amused by Philip's unexpected musical debut, joined oh, in Christmas the singing. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, oh, oh Christmas oh, tree, oh Christmas tree, how oh, lovely are oh, thy branches. Oh, 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 oh. Making that Christmas one to remember with the delightful echoes of Philip's unique caroling. The most awaited moment for Philip was Christmas morning when he would put on his best Christmas outfit. 
Philip's family joked that they had two Christmas trees since Philip wore a mini tree on his head and his big red bow around his neck, instantly bringing a smile to all who saw him. The family gathered around the tree, exchanging gifts with laughter and joy. Santa Paws brought Philip a squeaky toy that instantly became his new favorite. The sound of joyous squeaks filled the room as he gleefully chewed on his new toy. Amidst all the fun, Philip's heart swelled with love for his family. As the snow continued to fall outside, snuggling by the fireplace, he felt grateful for the warmth of his family's love. And so, in their little house, filled with love, laughter, and the delightful antics of Philip the French Bulldog, Christmas became the most wonderful time of the year. Thanks for reading along with us today. We hope you enjoyed the book. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more magical stories. See you tomorrow!